Hey everyone, so I wanna show you real quick some, tr um, some tricks and tips when you're recording with your phone or even when you're recording with other things. All right, so as you're recording and doing your actual videography, um, some, some tips that I wanted to share with you, um, I've done a lot of wedding videos and, and different kinds of recordings. And so I wanted to show you some tricks and things that you can use. As you're thinking through, you have a lot of different kinds of shots. Um, some of them are gonna be really wide so you can see everything, whereas some of them are gonna be closer up. So I wanted to show you a few ideas for how you can do this. So when you are recording with your phone, what you can do is always make sure that you're holding with two hands and then of course flare out your fingers to make sure that you're not doing the classic grandma took my picture and there's a finger straight across the image. Um, so watch out for your lens, hold it out that way. It also will help so that sound, what happens is when you hold it like this, the sound cups in and catches the microphone better. Um, you also wanna take your arms, bring them in tight, okay? My daughter's recording and she just did it, that's awesome. And what you're doing by bringing your arms in tight is you're creating your own tripod out of yourself and it will help you stabilize a little bit more rather than having it out free because we're trying to get a good quality shot that's stabilized. So we wanna bring our arms in, okay? All right, now as I'm recording, I'm going to become a human tripod. And we want a variety of shots that do different things. So sometimes you might wanna pan where it moves or sometimes it'll go closer or back. Now, as you do these things, remember, always go slower than you think you should go and it will be more effective, don't go too fast. But if I'm uh, here on the bookshelf, I have some, uh, some things, uh, some old things that, um, this is my great, great, great grandmother's iron. And uh, if I'm recording that, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna play with different angles. So I'm gonna start out here and I'm very slowly coming in. And then I kind of go off to the side a little bit and that will allow me that I can do some cross fades and some cuts. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in down here and I wanna catch some of these cool details. And I'm going slow. Okay, and I'm doing several little clips now and I'm getting different angles. Watch your light, watch your shadows. You might find that you're suddenly creating a shadow with your own body, so watch that. So as I'm doing this, you can see how close I am to the, to the object that I'm recording. And then, you know, look for some, oh wow, that's a really cool creative shot. So as you start going, you're gonna find some really fun, creative things, and it's gonna start inspiring you, and you're just gonna start with all these different shots. And of course, you know, I'm, I'm videoing an iron, the most exciting subject you will ever find in the world, right? No, um, you're gonna be doing some really cool how-to videos, and so the nature of your shots will be a little different, but look for, look for detail shots, for texture, for things like that. Um, and then get a variety, okay? Now, if I wanna have um, a pan where we start close, and then I'm scooting back, notice how my body is moving, okay? And then I'm gonna start here and move over. And you might even change your angle a little bit. My phone was literally turning like this, slowly of course. Um, but all of these things together are helping me create kind of a variety of shots that I can then put together, add my voiceover to, and we go from there. So if, for example, you're cooking something and you have, or if you're, um, so last night I was making hamburgers on the grill. And so I got out my phone and I was playing with some shots and I'll show you some of those now um, so you can get a feel for how this can be done. Thank <laughs> you.